it's teacher Melody and welcome to GoTalkTo.com. In our previous topic, we talked about how to use the right verb tenses and when to use them in your interviews. Today, we have another interesting topic, especially made to those who just move into New York for a new job or exchange students who just got accepted to college. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys the New York's famous affordable go-tos and Instagram-worthy spots. If you ask me if I've been to New York, well, to tell you honestly, the answer is no. Basically, I learned this from a good friend of mine slash my former manager who is born and raised in New York City. Pretty much we talk a lot about anything, like literally anything under the sun. That is why I'll make sure that you will get some exclusive a day in a life New York kind of information. First is New York is known to be the culture capital of the world due to the city's openness to immigrants. In fact, the population here is largely comprised of Irish, Italian, Jewish, Asian, and Hispanic Americans. This only means that when it comes to culture, well, obviously, it's pretty richly diverse. The city is described in two ways. Some people describe it as chaotic urban jungle due to its fast-paced environment, and some also describe it as sophisticated and worldly metropolis. New York has a great love for art, stage performance, literature, and designs. Just to mention, a lot of global fashion shows are hosted here. Remember the Victoria's Secret? That's one of it. And amidst being known for its expensive lifestyle, in the next three minutes of this video, I'll share with you guys the destinations that you can enjoy without spending too much. Let's start with affordable eating places. If you're looking for eating places at a less than $10 price point, we are going to share five affordable eating places that are highly rated in Google and Yelp. Let's go to number one. It's on the 6th Avenue in Manhattan. If you're looking for a less than a dollar pizza, you can find it here. This is famous to students in New York, not just because it's super affordable, but because it's also delicious enough for a 99 cent price. Number two, there's an eating place located on the 9th Avenue between, I believe that's 44th and 45th Street. Now in this place, you can find a local bar that offers free hot dog in every beer that you order. Imagine, that's just for $3, you guys. But I still recommend you to please check if the offer is still on, just to be sure. And this place is really cool. If you want to take a break and just grab some beer, this place is cool. Plus, it's also known for being a celebrity hideout. How cool is that? Third is Astoria, Queens. This place is for authentic Mexican cuisine lovers. For as low as $2, you will be able to enjoy a fresh from the oven empanadas. And we also have in the public, it's near the big public library. It's actually located at 42nd Street near the big public library. This Japanese grocery store offers meals in a box. They also have delicious and fresh sushi rolls. Now imagine for $5, you will be able to enjoy six medium sushi rolls. You can't get any more good deals than this. <laughs> and lastly, uh, it's located at 37th Street between 7th and 8th Avenue. This eating place is for those who can't live without rice and that's including me. <laughs> this place is good for people who are looking for high protein menu at a reasonable price. For a price point of between $5 to $7, you could get a full meal such as chicken curry and pork roast on top of your rice. So imagine that's just between five to seven dollars you couldn't get that easily when you're living in new york because protein meals in most restaurants uh, located in new york is super pricey so getting it for less than eight dollars is already such a great deal plus their meals are also rich in flavors well i'm sorry guys if i 
couldn't mention the name of Barb because this video is intended for educational purposes only and not for sponsorship. But you can definitely find them in those apps that I've mentioned. So far, these are the most affordable go-to eating places in New York. Now, visiting New York won't be complete without taking great pictures. Let's proceed to the places that we consider as Instagram-worthy spots. Just so you know, guys, that in many cases, New York is cloudy, so your background becomes super gray. That's why I suggest that you may want to wear something with popping colors like blue, red, bright yellow, or you can try orange if you want. And make sure that it's contrasting the background. You may also want to bring some props that accentuates your outfit of the day if you're the type of person who loves to always wear black. At least there's something that would contrast the background. You can probably wear a red hat. That's pretty cool. And to mention, the city can get super crowdy. And when we say the city, it means almost the entire city. So when you take pictures, you guys, be sure to shoot your pictures before 7 a.m. Do this for the love of pictures, because why not, right? Well, on the serious note, when you take pictures during the busy hours, people can get a little bit crabby. When you're getting in their way just for the photo shoot, this might get you some cursing too. It's not because they are rude, but because New Yorkers value their time more than most people do. Most ordinary people in this city has two side jobs. So, do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, let's move on to our first Instagram-worthy spot, Dumbo. It is in Brooklyn, New York, and Dumbo is actually an acronym for Down Under Manhattan Bridge Overpass. This is the place where there's a lot of cool vibe graffiti, architectural views, and huge murals. Next is East River State Park. If you're not an early riser, you can actually get a pretty shot in this place with a nice Empire State view without having to come really early since it's not in the middle of the city so you won't have any crowd issues don't have to really rise early lastly we have Brooklyn Bridge Park it has the most amazing views of the city especially if you wait until the Sun goes down you will certainly enjoy the city lights and for me, it's pretty magical, just like in the romantic mu movie. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned from this video that now that you learned about the go-to places in New York, maybe it's time to get acquainted with New Yorkers and make some friends. But just to be, just to prepare you, because they may be using more slang words and talk faster than the rest of the people in the U.S., if you want to advance your English communication with us, just simply sign up to our website at www.gotalkto.com, take the English level test, and claim your $10 credit to book your first online trial class with us. We will make sure that your English learning with us will be filled with fun and practical to your daily English conversation with friends or colleagues at work. See you!